The Defense and Police Officers' Wives Association, in collaboration with Partnership Eradication of Cancer in Africa, PECA, are conducting free cancer screening for wives or personnel to promote women's health and combat cancer in the community. To mark the 2024 Cancer Week at the Poa School Hall, Mogadishu Cantonment Asoko Rabuja. The president of the association, Mrs. Ogogo Musa, said the collaboration will feature free cancer screening for over 200 women as well as awareness on cancer prevention. Let's join Elizabeth Kasham for more. Advocating for access to cancer treatment, Mrs. Ogogo Musa noted that cancer knows no boundaries and can have negative impacts on communities irrespective of gender age or backgrounds. Today, over 200 women across all services, services will, be benef will benefit from this program. Today marks an important milestone as we launch the routinization of cervical and breast cancer screening, a succession step towards early detection, timely intervention, and ultimately saving lives. By making this screening a frequent part of healthcare service, we empower individuals to take charge of their health. Also speaking, consultation public health physician and chairperson Dipoa Health Committee, Dr. Julieta Angu, advised the women on routine checks to prevent wrong treatment. In, in need of that, that's why we collaborated with PECA so that we're going to routinize this cancer screening and we are going to launch we are going to be launching the cancer screening card and also the routinization of cancer, breast cancer and cervical cancer screenings, where those that have done mammogram will capture it accordingly, those that have done pap smear or DID will capture it accordingly and you will know when to go for the routine check. Because most of us as women of personnel we tend to neglect ourselves as we are taking care of other people so what we have to prioritize when we have a card to serve as a reminder we'll be able to know when we are due and not for us to be rushing for every screening services that has been made available commander defense headquarters medical center captain victor obuezu called for collaborative effort to ensure the women receive comprehensive medical services so if there's there's going to be always a partnership between the Deboa and the medical center in such a way that some of these women that come for family planning services, they will also have the opportunity to carry out cervical cancer screening. Some of them who come for antenatal services will also have the opportunity to, for cervical cancer screening. So in that way, we'll be able to expand the scope of the services to capture greater population. Especially those within the barracks. President of PECA, Benjamin Obalda, unveiled the organization's plan to launch an artificial intelligence cancer kit designed to facilitate early cancer diagnosis. To see that we can do this together, uh, there's this new um, um, kit that have been uh, um, invented now that we hope to launch in April. So that for about 11 different cancers, by just taking your blood, they can tell you that you are likely to have this number of cancers. The DIPOA had in October 2023 successfully conducted cervical cancer screening for over 250 women, including mammogram for over 80 women, with the aim to increase in awareness on cancer prevention and the need for early treatment for the well-being of its members. Elizabeth Kasham, ASO Television News.